All right, so, so I just finished clearing out the garage area. So now what I'm going to do is start to bring things downstairs because a lot of this is going to be going on storage. Like this is coats. So when whenever winter comes around again, um, this is Christmas stuff, literally like all Christmas stuff. That's a box for my sister because I'm putting some clothes in there. But she's going to have a ton of clothes coming her way. And then this thing is like a really nice long thing that you can lay out on, get a tan in, all that. Um, I literally haven't used it and it's just sitting here. So yeah. Independent woman status, people. Okay, because I did all this by myself, all right? So, yeah, now I need to get upstairs and start doing that stuff. Good morning, you guys. So, I rolled out of bed or whatever. I am um, trying to get the new Starbucks drink because... It sounds like something I want, and plus, I'm just dying for some coffee right now, you guys. I've been listing a ton of my stuff on Facebook Marketplace because I'm trying to see what I can sell versus put it in my storage just because, like, realistically, it is just going to sit there. So, yeah, I feel like I should just sell it for people who would need it, you know, or people who've always wanted certain things, and then, you know, they can't afford the actual full retail price, but I can, you know, do that. Yesterday, I sold my egg chair, and it was so bittersweet because... I don't really um, care for it anymore. Like, I do like the egg chair, don't get me wrong, but, like, I just know I'm not going to be having anywhere to put it. And then my sister actually didn't want it in her backyard because she said she didn't have the space because it's a big egg chair. I sold my egg chair yesterday to um, this lady, and I, her husband was like, she's going to be so happy because she's always wanted one of these. And I'm like, yeah, I said, I know. I felt that same way a few years ago. So, I don't know. It was bittersweet because it was, like, so nice that I was able to give something to somebody that's wanted something for so long. But at the same time, it was like, there goes my egg chair. So I'm trying to set that stuff up in my garage, which is kind of annoying because I need to get that stuff taken out if people are buying it, you know, before I bring down my other furniture because I'm trying to get everything put in my garage. So on moving day, it's going to be easier process. So like uh, there's going to be one side for like what I would want things to be stored. And honestly, if things are not going to be that big for needing of storage, then I might just try to see if I can use, like, my sister's garage to put a few things. We'll see. Still debating on that. I get one side with, like, what I would, like, want to put somewhere, like, in a garage or storage. And then the other side, I just want it to be, like, all the type of furniture that I'm going to be keeping um, for the new place and put it to one side. And then I can start bringing down boxes to put in there. All right, so sorry about that. I had to change over. I had to put a card on my Starbucks app because... I guess they're only accepting cash or you pay directly through the Starbucks app. I got the new drink, but I added oat milk because that's what the lady recommended because she said it's not that sweet. Mm -mm. Excuse me. Can you add in like three pumps of vanilla or something? It's just, it's not sweet enough to me. All right, I'll, I'll just go ahead and remake the whole thing for you. Oh, okay. Sorry. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, I was asking for the drink to look a little lighter than mine. Yeah, because she put oat milk. Oh, yeah. All right, you guys, so I got my coffee. Had to remake it, but yeah. This is the new vanilla cream cold brew. No, no, sorry. The cam caramel cream cold brew or something like that. Cinnamon caramel cream cold brew. It's not sweet enough. It's okay. Let me know what y'all end up putting in it to make it sweeter because it tastes like a shot of coffee. Like an espresso shot, which is fine. I'm going to need that. I'm going to drink it. But it needs like some sweetness. Just got back home. I had an Amazon package. These are the lashes I wear. I'll link them in the description for any girls wondering. Good morning says happy Saturday, you guys. Um, I think I checked in with you guys yesterday like, or the day before and let you guys know I'm trying to sell some stuff on Marketplace so that way I don't have to bring more over storage than I need to. Realistically, stuff I'm just not going to need later on so why keep it i mean just because i paid a good job for it you know what i mean to try to see what i can get for it right so um yeah i'm selling this like outside lounger thing i've had in my garage for literally a year um it's such a good steal because i'm selling that i'm waiting for the people to come right now to pick it up and then your girl has to go to ikea as i'm trying to look for some storage things um for the new place so yeah that or target because i seen something on target too that i might be able to use for storage for what i'm looking for so i'll check back in with you guys when i get to that destination
okay we made it to ikea so we're going in here to find this like storage thing for my closet in the new place um i seen it online and i feel like it would work really well for me so i'm not sure if i actually got the right one i know that's crazy but ikea is very confusing and this is not my first time in ikea okay the shopping part's simple this was a must that's so cute are you kidding the aesthetics please but when you get to the warehouse part it's confusing this little tool right here is your best friend the ipad thing as it tells you the aisles and it ends up telling you the product number which i didn't know but we got everything we secured it sis and now we're about to go home and i will show you guys a haul of everything i got I am back home from running some errands took me way longer than anticipated but that's okay so I just want to show you guys really quick what I got like a little haul because it's easier to do it now than when I move because when you move things are just going to be everywhere like things are already already everywhere but like it's just different so I found some brown pillow covers that um I wanted to get because I really like the color I was also going to get another one but I wasn't sure if it was the color I wanted, so I passed, and then um, I can always go on Amazon, but they're like a Sudu kind of material, kind of. And they're like a brown chocolate color. Um, they clearly need to be steamed, as you can see. And this is the smaller ones for like my smaller pillows, not the bigger ones. Um, so yeah, I don't know exactly where I want to put these. I just knew I was attracted to the color instantly. I've been having my eye on a color like this for like a throw pillow. Um, so yeah, pick these up. They were like $8.99 each, so not bad at all. Then I came across this and was like, absolutely, let me put it in the cart. Um, I love me some wine, sis. I don't know, like, you know, when I film, it's usually more daytime and all that. But one thing about me, sis, at the end of the day, I love me some wine, okay? So... Yeah, and plus, I'm going to my sisters and stuff, so, like, girls' night and all that. Like, are you kidding? This is a must, okay? What? Like, everybody's coming over, and we're having... This is so everything. I freaking love this. I think this was, like, $21 or $23. So, super affordable. Um, so, yeah, that was just a necessary thing, I think. I feel like. I've seen it. And then... I got this, this cool ass thing. Okay, so this is an iPad stand. I'm thinking this probably like in the kitchen or something. I don't like always go to my iPad, but I feel like if it was propped up, I could like prop it up when I'm cooking or something. Mind you, you guys, I don't love to cook or anything like that, but I'm saying like when I'm making one of my little concoction snacks, things like that, I can like set like a little music vibe or video or something. So I definitely love how it's wooden. I've been having my eye on this for a good year now, but I've only ever seen it online and for the longest it was sold out. So when I seen it, I was like, oh, I gotta get that. And then I don't have like a clear kind of cutting board. So I grabbed this one. This was only like $4 uh, as it should be, but yeah. So I had to get this because I was like, one thing about me, cutting boards, you guys know how I am. I love to cut stuff up for everything. And then um, I got a, another wood cutting board. I'm actually just going to open this right now because I just want you guys to be able to see like the colors of it. I know a cutting board's a cutting board, but some people care about that stuff like me, you know? So this is how it looks. And I like like how the different colors are in it. There was so many different options, but this is the one I went with. So just got a new cutting board. I'm of course going to keep my other one too, but now I have like more, so... Yeah, definitely needed a fresh one. Um, and it was just literally pointing to me as I'm in there. And then I got this um, like square storage thingy because I'm gonna try to put clothes in it and stuff like that. Girl did have to run in Target real quick. It was right there. And I got this body wash. This is the Sage and Citrus one. Listen, it smells so good. And yes, this is in the men's section, girls, okay? But I'm excited to use this. I was going to go for the regular stuff, but I'm really into trying body washes lately. So definitely going to give this a try and see what it's heading for. And then everyone on TikTok keeps talking about these face masks and how they're 20% off. So somehow I just wandered past and wasn't even looking for them. And they came out to me. I got these ones because they're hydrating and that's the kind of face mask I like is hydrating ones. So we'll see how it is. Probably do one soon. I still have seven days time move, so... Definitely probably gonna do one before I move. And then one at the new place, you know? 
So I got these again. They were like $5.99, 20% off. It's $2.54. I've been on go since this morning because I had to sell that lounger outdoor thing to somebody. I'm just like, whoa. Because I still have to do so much packing, you guys. Like, it's sick. Like, I get somewhere and then I stop and then I get somewhere and then I stop and then I'll start a room and then I'll go to a different room. But I really should just be going room by room. But I don't know. You just kind of got to go at your own process. The smart thing is to do room by room though. Definitely my suggestion is to always clear a bigger space first and then you bring the stuff to the bigger space. So I did do that part. Okay. But now it's a matter of going room by room, but it's just how I'm trying to do things that I don't feel like I can do exactly room by room as I'm trying to make this more of an organized move. So like my clothes right now, I'm trying to go through and see exactly which ones I want to keep. I want them to be kept in hangers and then I want to put garbage bags over them um, with the hangers on them to keep them together. Because that's the cheaper option versus going to get like the wardrobe kind of boxes. As I did think about that, but realistically, why not do the garbage bags I always have? Just another fun day here. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Like I said, I'm going to um, go back to packing up stuff. I'm probably just going to head upstairs, get more into the closet aspect. When I get a little bit closer, I'll grab the camera, you guys, and fill you guys in to where I'm at. I am fresh out the shower, so I'm going to go ahead and throw on a mask because after a long day of just errands, trying to pack more stuff, I need some self-care. So I want to go ahead and try this face mask. So we're about to try it. Yeah, this is giving Michael Myers. This is scary looking. <laughs> it's low-key creepy as hell. Like, I look like I have skin on me. Like, what? Already took some NyQuil. Hopefully it doesn't make me sleepy tomorrow when I get up. But I need to just be able to fall asleep at a good time tonight because I am tired. Such a wild Saturday night, you guys. Like, woo. I don't know. I prefer um, Saturday nights like this, though. I love self-care time. But I do wish I had a little bit of wine. But I already took night clothes, so there's no point in going to the store and getting some because I'm just going to go to sleep anyway. I'm probably going to just like pull up a movie or something. But I just want to say like whatever you may be stressing in life, like it'll all work out, you know, give yourself grace. I think like when we over give ourselves like tasks, like, you know, sometimes like we put too much on our plate at once. Like we forget to like step back and see like everything like that we are doing. So yeah, I say that was my biggest like lesson of the day, I guess would be to step back and realize everything you are doing instead of like beating yourself up that you're not doing enough during what you have to do, you know, of your list that you make for yourself or whatever is in your head, you know. But yeah, I hope that made sense, but I'm rambling because I'm so tired and don't judge me because of this.